Good afternoon to all. Uh, special thanks to uh, Diego Pavia, uh, with whom I work uh, very closely, uh, and uh, very happy to share a few thoughts uh, this afternoon. And of course, uh, of course, very happy as well to uh, receive uh, your uh, comments after these uh, hours of uh, brainstorming uh, in your uh, summit uh, to share these uh, uh, conclusions and remarks uh, with us as uh, lawmakers. So we are now uh, in the middle of the Green Deal. Uh, we started the Green Deal two years ago, more or less, and we are now delivering and negotiating the core of uh, the Green Deal. The Green Deal as a whole, it's uh, more than 50 laws, 50 five zero, that will be changed uh, up to the end of next year. Whether we talk about uh, agriculture, finance, uh, uh, circular economy, plastic, biodiversity, and so on and so on. And within these 50 laws, we have this Fit for 2030 package composed of 14 out of these 50 European laws. And of course, uh, the core of what we have to do is to change the rules of the game uh, in order to uh, boost, uh, to take this, uh, this uh, word which is yours, uh, to boost the investment. But my theory of change is that we need to work together to align the rules of the game, the technologies and the preferences of the citizens and the consumers. The rules of the game is the core of our business as lawmakers. But if we do not have the technologies to, which are relevant and are needed to deliver on uh, the objectives we set with the rules, then it's just a paper rule. And on the contrary, if, if, if you have, from the private sector side, if you have the technologies, but the rules are playing against innovation, against decarbonization, then it's still, at the end of the day, a small market share, which doesn't lead to carbon neutrality uh, in one generation. So we need to work together, technologies and rules. And third element of my theory of change, of course, is the consumers' and citizens' preferences. Because if we want to uh, embark the whole society and the whole market in this uh, decarbonization journey, we need to make sure that society is behind us and consumers and citizens are behind us, and uh, at, at least in a democratic uh, framework which is at the core of the European values. So this triangle uh, is at the core of what I do. That's why the conversation with you and with uh, Diego and, and the team of uh, Inno Energy is key. It's key to make sure that when we design the reform of the ETS, or when we design the CBAM, or when we design the uh, product policies initiatives that will come uh, next year, or the batteries regulation, and so on and so on, we know exactly what is the state of the art in terms of technology, what is credible, what is feasible in terms of lawmaking. And this, this dialogue is really, really uh, uh, fruitful and indispensable. So thank you again for your work. Thank you for uh, being part of this uh, uh, enormous challenge once in a generation to invent in three decades, even a bit less than three decades, a zero carbon economy when it took us two centuries to build a fossil based economy. So that's uh, what we have to do together. And again, uh, very uh, happy to uh, be part of this journey with you.